welcome back to my channel so today we are doing another episode of not with me i've been getting a lot of requests to do more not with me videos so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today but before we get into today's video i just wanted to say for the very first time on this channel that this video is actually sponsored by our friends over at inventora so inventora is basically this website where you can track and calculate your material and inventory usage for your small business. You are able to link whatever small business you're using, whether it's on Etsy, on Shopify, whatever it is, and there's different categories. So you can add your materials list and there's all types of information, how many you have, maybe it's beads and you have 500 beads. And then you can add a product. So maybe it is a beaded bracelet. And with that product, you can say, okay, this is the name of the product and then this is how many beads it takes to make one product and then you can do a production run where you're like okay today i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna make five bracelets and you can start your production run and say okay this is the product i'm gonna make a beaded bracelet and then i'm going to make five today so it's like i'm planning to make five beaded bracelets and you can click and drag to okay i'm currently making them and you can also click and drag to okay i completed this and once it's completed it takes out the materials you used so then it updates your current material status if that makes sense it's just it's very cool very interesting it's just a really really easy way to keep track of your inventory and what you're using how much you're using and how much you're exactly spending on your products if you guys are interested in checking out inventory and potentially using it for your small business i'm gonna have it linked down below so you guys can check it out Thank you so, so much to Inventora for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Without further ado, my hair sparkle is falling out of my head. I am literally so sad. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this knot with me. Okay, I'm literally so excited to make this. Um, it's this really cute, like, Charlie Brown. Welcome, great pumpkin. Um, whoa, what was that? <laughs> pattern and i'm just obsessed with it um it's number 107188 on bracelet book okay so i already have all of my colors picked out so i'm gonna do blue for the background but i'm gonna be using this like pale blue um, i got these from michael's it's from dmc it's number 157 if you were wondering but i'm still gonna use my petra thread as my base strings just because i have a ton of this thread and i want to kind of use it up but i don't have a lot of this so i want to save this for actually the background if that makes sense so yeah using Petra thread for the base strings, but then using this for the actual background knots. I have some white and then this like tan color for the skin color and then some black and then a bit of gray for like the shadow and the sign. And then I have some red for the stripes in a shirt, some green for the center of the pumpkin and then some orange for the actual pumpkin. So yeah, I think those are all the colors I'm gonna need. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start making this. All right, so I think it's pretty obvious, but this is definitely going to be a wall hanging. So I have my wooden dowel right here. I have all of my base strings cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach all of these and get started. And here we go. We're in the voiceover now and we're in the time-lapse segment of this video. So this bracelet took me so long. I know you guys are definitely going to ask me how many hours this took me. I can't say for sure, but I want to say between like 16 and 20 hours around that. Definitely a long time. If you guys saw my slushy wall hanging video, it was pretty similar to that. Um, this one is a bit thicker but it's shorter than the slushy wall hanging one so i think there also were a lot less color switches in this one so i think this one took probably a little bit less time but it still took me forever don't get me twisted bro so the person who actually made this pattern is one of my followers and they reached out to me on bracelet book and they asked if i could do a not with me video on this pattern and i was like absolutely that pattern is so cool so i <laughs> I did tell them I would post this video on Halloween and oh my gosh, it's been like a month and a half. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. They did message me already like in October, so I knew I only had like two weeks to make it, but I was like, I'm going to do it. I did not do it. I did not do it. And then I was like, well, it's pumpkin. I can still do like in November. And oh, sorry, quick intermission. I recorded this whole segment sideways. So um, everyone like boo me in the comments real quick. Anyways. But I was like, I can still post it like on Thanksgiving or like in November or something because it's still like pumpkin. It's still like fall, like whatever. And it just didn't happen. I'm, I don't know, y'all. Like I just got busy and I was working a lot and it was the holiday and like 
it was just a mess but at least it's here now and it's fine so happy late fall i guess truth be told i actually haven't like quote unquote seen charlie brown like i've definitely seen it in my life but i genuinely do not remember it at all i have absolutely zero memory of it at all but i was like i could still appreciate i could still make this i'm sure other people have seen it and understand what this sign means and whatever like i i could still do it <laughs> i remember when i used to work at starbucks uh one of my co-workers we had one of those like chalkboard signs you know and she made this whole it was literally like this image on this bracelet it was literally like this whoever this character is and he had a sign that said welcome great pumpkin and she put in parentheses underneath it and she said spice so it was like welcome great pumpkin spice and it was really cute and she did it for like the fall launch so it was really fun so i really like that so that's kind of how i like kind of like knew what this was because i remembered that sign that she had made I don't know if y'all do this, but whenever I make a bracelet, I have to sit down and I have to like watch something like whether like a Netflix show, YouTube, a movie, whatever it is. But I can literally look at a bracelet I made and I can literally visually remember what I was watching <laughs> when I made it. And it's so bizarre. I watched a wide variety of stuff making this because it took me like 20 hours. But for the big first part of it i was watching if y'all know who lil simsy is hey kayla anyways i was watching her 100 baby challenge but i started at like episode like 200 <laughs> her sims 4 100 baby challenge i started like episode 200 and i watched like a bunch of episodes and then i also watched mcfarland usa because that was on disney plus and then i also remember watching avengers civil war <laughs> and also ant-man and the wasp in both of the movies i think <laughs> i was watching while i was making this anyways i have to tell you guys i am literally so beyond excited for christmas this year i love christmas it just it's it's just like a nostalgic holiday for me which is like so dumb like what does that even mean but like i just always think about like my childhood christmases and like the traditions that we would always do as a family and i just look forward to it more and more like every single year i also think being able to like get people gifts finally for the first time really in my life you know within the past like two years it's so much more fun for me because i absolutely love getting gifts for people i just it's so like satisfying to me getting people gifts so i'm just like really looking forward to it this year and this christmas is going to be a very different one because um i usually will stay home for christmas but I have a boyfriend now and uh, whatever, <laughs> just kidding. So he has a family in Las Vegas. So we have to kind of like share the holidays now. So it's a little harder, but we are going to be flying down to Las Vegas Christmas Day this year, which is like crazy, but I'm honestly so excited. I'm really looking forward to it. And I just, I think it's going to be such a fun day and just like general time of year you know what i'm saying i had this idea to vlog like my entire christmas day don't hold me to it because you know i'm probably gonna forget or not want to do it anymore but i really want to do it i think it'd be kind of fun um to vlog everything like go to my mom's house going to the airport going to vegas like i think it would be so fun so i want to vlog it really bad but we'll see if i actually do it it's pretty funny because i tend to really go like super overboard with gifts like i spend way too much money and i feel like normal people it's like i'm gonna buy one gift for my sister and then one gift for my brother but i'm like five gifts for each you're all getting f at least five things <laughs> it's i'm just like i feel like i'm like oh i didn't get them enough like I, oh. and so this year i was like okay girl like you're really gonna tone it back because you just moved out you got bills to pay like you got rent like whatever girl so you need, you need to calm down and i didn't girl i did not calm down i started to i think the issue is i christmas shop in like november like the beginning of november so i christmas shop super super early and then like I'm spent like the whole month and a half later, I'm like still seeing gifts for people and I just keep adding to the pile. And it doesn't help either that it's like also like kind of Black Friday time. There's lots of sales going on. So that doesn't help either. So that kind of sucks, but it's fine. It's going to be a good Christmas. I'm excited. I went overboard, but it's fine. I'm going to be okay. Maybe not. I don't know. I hopefully I'll recover. <laughs> But anyways, that is the end of this bracelet, so thanks for listening to me ramble for 8 minutes.
So at this point, I am just finishing up the wall hanging and I am adding the strings to the end of it so that you are actually able to hang it. I think this is called a lark's head knot, so that's what I'm doing to attach these two strings. And then I'm just doing the twisted ties technique to kind of make that rope texture. I show how to do this in my video on how to make your bracelet adjustable. Um, and now I'm just tying them at the top and then I tie it in a little bow just to kind of finish it off and make it look a bit nicer. And that's basically it. So that was this not with me video. I hope you guys liked it. This is the glorious wall hanging that we made today. It is literally huge. It's like almost the size of my head. It's very big. <laughs> this will be listed on my Etsy if you guys are interested in purchasing this. I'm gonna be listing this for $125 on my Etsy. So that is what I'm pricing this at. So if you are interested, it's on my Etsy. Once this video goes live though, I will be listing a couple of other items on there if $125 is a little bit out of your budget. I've been making a lot of stuff, so I wanna show you guys. So I have this fine line keychain. I love how this came out. I have this Star Wars keychain. The back is a mess, but it's still cute. I have this Mary one. It's like has like snow on it, very adorable. This little wall hanging, it's this little deer with like sparkles. I think this is so cute. And then one of my faves, this really cute angel bear wall hanging as well. So all of these are gonna be on my Etsy when this video is uploaded. So if you guys are interested in any of these things or any of the other things I have on my Etsy, then the link is down below for that. Thanks again to Inventoria for sponsoring this video and thank you guys all for watching. I love you guys and I will see you later.